Welcome to another reaction video on the reaction channel. Got ourselves another soccer video to react to. And the previous two have been successfully uploaded without any issues so far. So hopefully this one will also be live. <clears throat> but for this video I got another request by Rx Matt Rolfan. It's to react to the Argentina versus France. This is the, the World Cup final for 2022. And I remember watching the Watching this match was pretty awesome, and the penalty shootout was was a thriller for sure. This is a Spanish video by JL Sports, and Argentina versus Francia, 3-3, 4-2, resumen extendido, relato Rodolfo de Paoli, el partido del siglo. So, to translate that, it says Argentina versus France, 3-3, this is the what, they, they were tied after normal time, and then after extended time and then they went into penalty shootouts where Argentina defeated France for two in penalties and this is apparently a extended summary of the game of the match and they also put in the title that it's the the match of the century I don't know if that'll hold for the rest of the century I mean, we still have to go to 2099 so who knows what will happen until then but <clears throat> this may very well be one of the most significant matches in the century for sure though but anyways let's watch the video and let's enjoy Regalanos, Dios querido. I, was gonna, oh, I went away too fast but I was going to say a very nice shot of, of the top of the stadium you know you can see down and onto the field from the top there uh, here it looks like we got some celebratory confetti and smoke. Obviously, it's the final match of the 2022 World Cup, so it makes sense. Lo que el fútbol le debería devolver a este marciano del fútbol mundial. Argentina cheering on their own team right there. You can see Argentina fans. <clears throat> You're going to see the France fans as well. Claro que somos argentinos, pero también somos amantes del fútbol. Y este muchacho es sinónimo del fútbol. Ar There goes Messi, one of the best soccer players of all time, for sure. Argentina, a continuación, rumbo al campo de juego. Lo espera el teatro de los sueños. Lo espera Francia. This guy looks pretty happy. <laughs> Compared to the others, this one actually has a smile on his face. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah, Argentina has a nice national anthem. I like the, I like how there's a lot of, uh, how do I say, how do I, uh, or how do I explain this? They're definitely determined. Let's just say that they're very determined in what they're doing, which is what I like about the national anthem and the music. You can see this is the layout for all the players in Argentina, how they played the World Cup final. Emiliano Martínez en el fondo a la derecha Molina, los centrales Cuti, Romero y Otamendi. Hoy a la izquierda Nicolás Tagliafico. Di María, Di María titular por la derecha, claro. Quizás más retrasado el 4-4-2 de Paul Enzo adentro. McAllister por la izquierda. Messi suelto, Julián arriba, los de Scaloni. Y así Francia con Choriz, con Cundé como lateral por la derecha, con Barán y. La vuelta del buen Upamecano como segundo central, Teo Hernández a la izquierda. Chuamení es el volante central, cerca Rabiot, más retrasado de lo que lo vimos siempre. Antoine Griezmann, arriba, derecha, izquierda. Denver. And then you can see this is the France layouts for all players and their strategy. And I like these portraits that they use, of course, with the 
right here in this explanation of the players they they had the portraits of the players Giroud y Mbappé los de Deschamps pero créanme que en el final del túnel siempre hay luz en el Lusail ya vivimos sentimos disfrutamos estamos viviendo la final de la Copa del Mundo y buen taco de Julián y así va McAllister remata ah McAllister Alex right into the hands right into the hands but you do have to try so everybody has to try <laughs> Firme y seguro Lloris. Julián Álvarez que se mete en el área de María de Bordón. Meta centro que está el primero. Atrás le quedará de Paul. Espérenlo en la derecha. Molina punto dispara. Va con desvío. Corner, corner, corner. And out of the field it went. So let's see what happens in the next play. Así te quiero Argentina. Amaga va para adentro Mapé. Juega muy bueno para Rabiot. Cuidado con esto. Viene cerrado otra vez Mapé. Anticipa. Así te quiero Argentina. Así te quiero Dibu. Sigue el Mesías otra vez. A very good catch there with the ball. Para Rodrigo, de por atrás para Messi, le queda Di María. Vamos Ángel Di María, le picó antes que. Oh, that expression is so relatable, though. I know a lot of us have been there. We have our moments that we get frustrated when it doesn't work out the way we want we want it to, but but we are trying, that's for sure. But yeah, you can see that Di María kicked the the ball way too high. I wonder who caught that ball, by the way. And also, I guess they don't let you keep the ball if you catch it. You have to return it. I, I don't know. I don't know what the rule is. But usually I heard that with soccer, they do make you return the balls if they go out of the field like that. Le picó antes y le quedó para la derecha a Ángel Di María. Argentina y la ilusión. Engancha Angelito. Vamos, vamos, Ángel, vamos. Se mete en el área. Busca penal, 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 penal. I think it's clear as day that that was a penalty for sure. Otro penal, 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 penal. Penal para la Argentina. Penal para la Argentina. Gritalo fuerte. Engan so you can see... This player from France, uh, obviously he's trying to get the ball, but he ended up intercepting the Argentinian player's leg, knocking him down. So yeah, that's a penalty because it happened in the in the box. I like how the jail sports put in this portrait uh, perspective of the of the penalty there uh, what i mean with portrait is that the orientation of the uh, the film and this one is in portrait mode it's not landscape like the the wide ones no it's it's like the vertical one argentina hay penal para la argentina se lo llevó lo manoteó de embelea di maría penal para la argentina si hay es abajo y es apenas y por lo menos para revisar seguro Dos minutos del primer tiempo. Un país paralizado por un momento impresionante. Así lo vivía su familia detrás del arco. Da la orden el polaco. Vamos, Messi, vamos. Así va Messi, Messi, Messi. ¡Ah! Totally fooled him. <laughs> Go. Totally fooled the goalkeeper. <laughs> Not a chance, not a chance. And Messi scored a successful penalty kick. Just like that. Giving him the advantage in the match. Goal! I like how you can actually see the people. I'm guessing this is like... It's not in the stadium itself. I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to see where exactly this is. But it's like a large gathering. They have a, a screen there. And they're... Yeah, you can see these Argentinian fans. And yeah, they're cheering the <clears throat> the penalty goal by Messi there. So I thought that's pretty cool to have in the video. And of course, they have to have Crypto.com there because there that's where currency is currently going. And... They want you to know that cryptocurrency is an alternative to traditional fiat money. 
But anyways. Argentina! Argentina! En el desierto! La gota de agua! La gota de oxígeno! La... Yeah, so. France goalkeeper, not, not a chance, not a chance. He went in the wrong direction. Gotas on the football! Messi, Messi, Messi! Football, football, football! Llori para un costado, Messi para el otro! Argentina! Y esta nueva ilusión, la más grande en los últimos años, la puso como con la mano, la soltó suave. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that that's that hurts. That that uh, that ought to have hurt a lot there, because he slammed into the the French player and then he fell into the ground. But there was something else I was gonna say. I thought of it, but then I got distracted by that. Ah, uh, see, I'm trying to remember, but I cannot remember right now. Nope, I forgot. Gente, para que el país, el país sueñe, el país explote. Parece decir Scaloni, Argentina y este espacio fenomenal. Messi para Macalister, Macalister para Messi. Ahora viene para Julián y Julián lo metió para Macalister. Creo que será gol de Di María. Vio, así va Di María. Gol, 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 And just like that, excellent teamwork. Di Maria scoring that goal exactly how it was supposed to be. <clears throat> the coordination worked just the way it was supposed to. And that, and that was how Argentina scored a second goal, taking the advantage from France there. It's a very nice goal. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to say is that compared to the previous video where the... The English narrator wasn't chanting the goals. This is this one from Spanish narrator is chanting the goals, which I really like. I always like hearing the the goal from the narrators when the players score goals. So that's one thing that I missed from the previous video that I reacted to, but I'm glad to have it on this one. I like the the heart that Di Maria made there, and also I like the fact that this narrator is going go 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 like he's really excited, and I don't blame him. He's pretty excited for it's, it's pretty exciting to see goals like this take place. And by the way, not to be biased, but I'm pretty sure that this narrator was going rooting for Argentina anyway, so that probably explains his, his excitement. But let's continue watching. Yeah, so I probably, I bet that this guy's, the narrator's throat was probably pretty sore after all that chanting. But of course, this wasn't it. There was more, just more to come. But just thinking about, you know, how much you have to, how much effort you had to put into the chanting because it's not that easy. To be honest, it does take a bit of practice to master the chanting and the, and to keep up the, the excitement of the game. <clears throat> So it does require some practice, but I think this guy nailed it pretty well. Argentina, llenando todo el terreno de fútbol. El fútbol hoy lo pone la Argentina. Se vienen dos cambios en Francia. Una paliza en estos 40 minutos. Táctica de concentración y de fútbol. Las finales se juegan. Las finales se juegan. Los lugares comunes para los que no son protagonistas. Las finales primero se juegan como... So it appears we're at the halftime this at this time. 
So you can see the players starting to um, off the field. And we'll see what happens next. All right. So that was the first time. And now let's go to the second time. The second half of the match. Will friends be able to recover after those two goals? We will have to find out. Moverá la Argentina, cambios en Argentina, Gastón. No hay cambios en Argentina, en Francia en el primer tiempo se habían ido Giroud y Dembélé y habían entrado Colombo Aní y Marcus Turam. Comienza la segunda parte, el fútbol lo pone Messi, juega atrás. Y buena lectura de anticipo, Messi tocó para Di María y otra vez el segundo palo. Viene para De Paul, pelota de Lloris. It was going in there, it was almost there. <laughs> The, the ball was almost in the net. Qué bueno del Cuti Romero. Excelente. Pero venía corriendo desde muy atrás. Yeah, it ended up right into his, the goalkeeper's hands, but it was actually a pretty good shot considering the distance. Porque imaginó que el pase iba a ser hacia adentro. Pica Julián Álvarez. Viene para Julián va contra el área Julián de zurda al arca. Alores en dos tiempos. All right, another another good attempt, but the goalkeeper intercepted and sent it out of the way of the net. Lloris en dos tiempos se queda con la pelota y ese potente remate sorpresivo de zurda de Julián Álvarez. Por el área, Julián Álvarez. Sigue Ángel, va para adentro, va para afuera, no puede con el Cundé. Qué bien, Angelita. Potrero y fútbol, viene atrás para el pal, dejó correr para Messi. ¡Vamos, Lionel! ¡Qué pena! Y... <laughs> Yeah, that was the close one for Messi again, but it was a bit to the off to the right there. Qué cerca tuvo la Argentina de marcar un gol para la historia. Se rompe las manos, Argentina jugando al fútbol. Right, I like how Messi is happy in this one, in this instance there. <laughs> no frustration at all. Of course, they do have two goals and advantage over France, so it probably makes sense to take it easier. Sale el número 11. El hombre de los goles en las finales, quien dijo que esto iba a ser lo último él en la selección argentina. No es que se lo debía a él, no es que se lo debía a Di María. También el fútbol. La va sacando desde el fondo. Camavinga, la corre Mbappé, la corre Turam. Llegará. Turam se va contra el área. El árbitro acaba la penal. Oh no. Now this time the France player got knocked down. Se confió Tamendi. Y hay penal para Francia en un momento. Yeah. And, I, and, and a lot of these aren't intentional, of course. I, I would say most of these are not intentional because obviously when one player is trying to score a goal on your own side, obviously you're going to want to try to get the ball away from them. But sometimes in that process, you're going to accidentally trip the other player. And that's what causes the penalty. Like in this case. Clave de la noche. Ya el reloj marca 78 minutos. Penal. Okay, this in this case though, I would say maybe it was intentional because you can see how Argentinian player right there is, is like trying to pull back the France player, like trying to hold him back with his arm. Or maybe it was because he was losing balance, but I don't know. I, I think he was actually trying to knock him down or something <laughs> on purpose, maybe. But in any case, it was a penalty. Conjunto de Champs. No pudo sacarla de entrada también. Después ya quedó mal perfilado. Ahí hay un toque, apenas perceptible, pero podemos decir incluso más que el del primer penal. Allí va Mbappé. Vamos Dibu, vamos. Qué cerca estuvo el Dibu Martínez. Adivinó la punta, pero Mbappé fue implacable. Remató seco y cruzado. Well, it's a goal. Goal. Remember, we have to give the other teams credit too for their work. Goal! So, the Argentina goalkeeper did his job. He, 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 he did his best to try to block that off. But the ball was the way that the French player sent the ball was a bit too difficult for the Argentinian goalkeeper and it, end, and it still ended up inside the net. But, you know, unlike the France goalkeeper, the Argentinian goalkeeper did do the right thing 
and saw the move correctly. Now, I will also say that the narrator, narrator did not even chant that goal. <laughs> That's how you know he really wanted Argentina to win. But yeah, he did not even chant it. He just remained kind of like a uh, normal voice and just like talking about how Argentina goalkeeper almost saved it, but not quite. Festeja Macron. Descuenta Francia ahora. De Argentina 2. Francia 1 revive de Jams. Nos van a quedar 10 minutos. 10 minutos tremendos. Apenas la tocó Dibu. Coman toca para Rabiot. Elevando para Mbappé. Mbappé la bajó atrás. Otra vez cuidado con Mbappé. Gol. Gol. And just like that, <clears throat> France gaining their advantage, or not at their advantage, France trying to keep themselves in the World Cup still. They're not giving up. You can see they made another goal, tying up the match right then and there. Francia 2, la Argentina 2, en un abrir y cerrar de ojos, hasta los suplentes se metieron a abrazarlo en Mbappé. Celebra Macron. Todavía falta y mucho. Ahora Argentina 2, Francia 2, en este deporte indomable, en este deporte. So he kind of slipped her when he made that made that kick there. At least it worked out, but yeah, it looked, he did slip onto the ground like like a little bit there. Por momentos, déjeme decirlo, hijo de remil puta, en este momento incontrolable. Tenga fe, amigo del fútbol. Argentina 2. Francia 2 es un deporte infinito. Estamos más vivos que nunca. 10 minutos le quedan a esta final. Insólito por cómo se dio, insólito por lo que sucedía hace unos minutos nada más acá. Pero con esa cuota lógica. Respire, amigo mío. Con todo Francia en el área, Rabiot, cuidado, penal. Ah, cobró falta en ataque. Falta en ataque. Oh, falta. Oh. Yellow card. <laughs> Oh, esto no estaba en los planes. Simulación, Coro. Voy a respirar entonces a golpe de ojo inicial. Zafó Argentina. Se me paralizó el corazón. Cuidado que no pate Mbappé. Cuidado, ¿a dónde veo? Corner. Uh. Getting there. Oh. Argentina 2. Francia 2. En este deporte indomable. Did not mean to do that. That was an accident. Where am I actually? Finito. Estamos más vivos que nunca. 10 minutos le quedan a esta final. Insólito por cómo se dio, insólito por lo que sucedía hace unos minutos nada más acá. Pero con esa cuota lógica, respire, amigo mío. Con todo Francia en el área, Rabiot, cuidado, penal. Ah, cobró falta en ataque. Falta en oh, ataque. Oh, falta. Oh, esto no estaba en los planes. Simulación, coro. Voy a respirar entonces a golpe de ojo inicial. Well, I'm sorry to repeat myself a little bit there. I accidentally swiped the screen and it went back several, many seconds, I would say. Tina, se me paralizó el corazón. Cuidado que no pate Mbappé. Cuidado, oh, desvío, corner. Menos mal que se desvió porque tenía destino de arco. Se encendió Mbappé de golpe. I like the way the narrator says that at least the ball deviated in the wrong way <laughs> that's how you know he really wanted Argentina to win that was pretty good that was a pretty good save there but good job to this Argentina goalkeeper he's very good at defending the, the net for sure Todo Francia pide falta, otorgó la ley de la ventaja, creo que estuvo bien aquí el árbitro. Libre en la sector derecho está Messi, De Paul y así el Mesías. Así va el Mesías al arco. ¡Ah! El arquero, el arquero de Oriz, la banda, el corner. Dang, this guy was able to catch it up that high. But the good news is because he, he touched the ball, it ended up being a corner kick in favor of Argentina. 
Argentina. Los invito a vivir los últimos 30. So they stay tied 2 2 after the traditional time. So now we will see what happens during extra time. Minutos de la final de la Copa del Mundo. Respiremos hondo, resentimos, volvamos a empezar y empecemos a mirar el vaso medio lleno. En ese aluvión de Mbappé y compañía, en ese efecto emocional violento. So you can see they're planning their moves for the next 30 minutes in extra time. Para nuestro equipo, <coughs> es verdad que fue increíble que en menos de dos minutos nos hagan dos goles. Pero pudo ser peor como se dio la mano. Todavía habla Samuel con Paredes y con Lautaro. All right, we're in extra time now. So let's just see how they do. También es Caloni, pero son los cambios que va a hacer porque ya están preparados para entrar. De un gran esfuerzo ingresa en su lugar el número 22. Dos muy buenos rendimientos, por lo menos mientras Argentina fue el, el gran dominador, que es lo que sucedió acá la mayor parte de la tarde. Pasó Lonel. Messi, McAllister, McAllister, Messi, Messi, atrás para Lautaro, vamos Lautaro. Oh man, he really tried there, but the France player was blocking it there, so the ball went back. Se jugó el cruce de su vida. Impresionante cierre. Impresionante cierre de Upamecano. Creo me que. And <laughs> then it just they tried again, but it hit this guy's head and it went off the field. El gol del mundial. Qué jugada extraordinaria como nunca de que le empató en Argentina. Qué pase para Lautaro. Mira si lo ganamos en esta Lautaro. Lo erró. P yeah, and then ended up going off to the left there, unfortunately. De corner, pero claro, fue un desvío, eh. No hubo un desvío en un pamecano. A ver, tragar saliva, horror y cuenta nueva. Argentina vive en esta Copa del Mundo. Se terminan los primeros 15, 16 fueron. Últimos 15 minutos. All right, so first extra time period ended. So now it's time for the second extra time period, and we will see what happens. Nice stadium shot as well during the intermission. Le queda esta final de la Copa del Mundo. De grandísimo partido. Viene para Messi. Busca el área. Lonel de volea de zurda. Lonel. Le queda Lautaro. Piden falta. Nos vamos a los penales. So the French player also did a good job with. Defending the Nets, in spite of the first mistake he did earlier in the video, but you can see he was also doing a good job at blocking those some of those goals, potential goals I should I should say. Antes Argentina intentará con Lautaro, con Messi, con Messi, con Enzo, y así Lautaro, Messi. Oh wait, let's see that again. I'm sorry. Falta. Nos vamos a los penales. Antes Argentina intentará con Lautaro, con Messi, con Messi, con Enzo. Y así Lautaro, Messi, gol. 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 And just like that, pretty interesting how that ended it out, but it counted. The first shot got blocked off, but then the second one did it. But and you can see like the ball got uh, got kicked back that way by one of the France players. It looks like. Let's see that. And never mind. It doesn't matter. Out of place. The dreaded out of place. That's one of the rules in soccer that. I don't really like that one because it makes it a lot harder to score goals, but it exists and well no goal. El árbitro está cobrando gol. Goal! Nope, never mind. <laughs> they did he did accept it. The the um, the ref the main ref did accept it, so it, it counts anyway. <laughs> That's because I'm listening to the commentary as well and the narrator I mean, you can see the flag had been pulled out there by one of the assistant refs on the side, but the main ref said, nope, it does count. Messi, me parecía posición adelantada de Lautaro Martínez.
Martínez en el inicio. Por eso me quedé. Pero el árbitro, veremos si la chequean o no. Creo que estaba habilitado. Será gol de la Argentina. Gritalo, gritalo. Es de Messi, es de Messi, es de Messi. Es del Mundial. Es del título mundial. Es de Argentina, de Messi, es de derecha, del Mesías. Es un cuento de hadas esto. Vivimos, sentimos, disfrutamos. Gol argentino, gol argentino, gol argentino. Lo confirman, lo chequean. Vamos, vamos, Messi. Vamos, Dibu, vamos. En vos confiamos, Dibu. Viene el centro de coma, pasadito. El desvío le queda en Mbappé. Cobró penal el árbitro, me quiero cortar. Oh, no. So now what's going to happen? So Argentina, at this point, is pretty much shielding the World Cup. But... There's a little bit of something else we have to watch here. No, me quiero morir. Mano de Montiel, penal para Francia. No puedo respirar. Disculpen si no tengo claridad en este instante para narrar lo que estoy observando. <laughs> the narrator's like, he's like, I can't breathe. And he said, forgive me, but I might not have to, the eyes to, to, to see exactly what's going on here. Of course, with a lot of things happening pretty quickly, it might be hard to keep track of things. And some things might look confusing. Alright, so many apologies for the brief interruption, but we'll continue where we left off just a few seconds before. La ilusión sigue intacta. No se me baje del barco. Haga fuerza por el Dibu. Vamos Dibu, vamos Dibu, vamos Dibu. Gol de Francia. Oh, no. So, yeah, totally fooled Argentina goalkeeper there. And he scored a penalty with ease, basically. <laughs> What an easy pass for France. And they tied the board 3-3 right then and there. I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you that was... Good work on behalf of the French player. But of course, it would have been nicer to just end it. End the match with the 3-2 victory for Argentina. But it was not meant to be. El partido está 3 a 3. Con este resultado, nos vamos a los penales. Cuando al partido le quedan 3 minutos para el cierre. Yeah, just kissing the ball there. <laughs> I'm, I bet you this guy probably said I'm kissing the ball for good luck. That's probably what he's what was going on in his head. Well, it looks like that worked well. <laughs> Inexplicable partido a esta altura. You can see the the guy there happy for that goal. El partido le quedan dos minutos. Últimos 120 segundos de la noche. Tendremos una más, pregunto. Elijo creer. Este es Mbappé. Viene el centro. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he did not get it this time. <laughs> But he's still optimistic because that obviously means... Sorry for that. That obviously means that they have a chance at penalty shootout. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. El partido está... 3 a 3. Le agregó 3 minutos más a esta historia. Cuidado con esto, cuidado con esto. Tapó el arquero, el Dibu, tapó el fuero. Ah, no, me muero, me muero, era gol. Lo que sacó el, el Dibu como una... That one was a close one, and that was a very vulnerable moment for Argentina because, as you can see, the goalkeeper for Argentina went out away from the net. And if one of the French players had been more in a more capable position he would have easily scored another goal and french and france would have been the defending champion once again but it did not work out for france quiero dejarlo ariel no puedo hablar vamos messi vamos vamos argentina vamos la última engancha montiel el centro a lautaro fuera me quiero morir oh man that was a close one but the headshot did not work too well that time They went off to the right. Era gol de Enzo, no lo que acaba de pasar Ariel. Cuesta explicarlo, eh. Cuesta explicar. El Dibu nos salvó la vida y en la. This would just, this would just spit. 
while the camera was on him. I'll replay that one more time. Too far. You all just saw how he just spit like that when he was looking at the camera. <laughs> it's very funny. Lautaro despejó de cabeza. La chance que acaba de desaparecer Francia. Usted la vio bien, seguro. ¿Cómo no vamos a creer? Mbappé. Vamos que sea la última esta. Eh. Vamos, vamos Argentina, vamos. Sigue Mbappé. Uh, no, 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 no. Tapalo, tapalo, tapalo. Bien, bien, bien. Ay, me muero. No aguanto más, no aguanto más. Ay, ay, ay. This guy's reaction. Now he's frustrated. Because obviously he did not get the way he wanted it to happen. <laughs> but they were not able to break the tide during regular time. So obviously that means we get to watch the penalty shootout. So how will that go? Stay tuned and make sure you keep watching. No puedo nombrar nada. <coughs> Nos quedan los penales. Tenemos al Divo Martínez. Se vendrán los penales en el arco de los hinchas argentinos. ¿Dónde está esa energía única e inigualable? ¿Dónde está? I like this guy's hats with the Argentina flags colors. Looks pretty cool. El Divo Martínez esperando donde en el rostro. Se lo dije allá hace media hora cuando arrancaba la largue. Le tengo una fue el Dibu. Después pasó lo que pasó. Después Messi marcó el tercer gol. Parecía que era nuestro en los 120. Mbappé ya le marcó dos goles en los 120. Los dos. It's a very nice stadium shot once again. Remató al palo derecho. Para mí no va a cambiar Mbappé. Y para mí el Dibu va a contener contra el palo derecho. A ver. Vamos. Dibu Martínez. Allí va Mbappé. ¡Ay, qué pena pasó eso! Goal by Mbappé once again showing that he is capable of doing the penalties and this time the goalkeeper did actually guess the, the shot correctly but he wasn't able to take the ball out so he went right past his hands y le metió la mano cambiado y la pudo desviar pero que cerca estuvo el Divo Martínez Fue al tercero, fue todo igual. Mire usted, mire usted lo que pasó. Qué cerca estuvo el Divo Martínez. Va Messi, que le marcó un gol en los 90. All right, Messi's penalty shoot. Let's see how that goes. Alioris la colocó suave contra el palo izquierdo del arquero. Así va Messi. Messi. Gol. Ay, ay, gol. And Messi, once again, showing his brilliant talents by excellent, excellently performing that penalty kick there. Tying the board evenly across both teams. And let's see how this continues. And so the French goalkeeper also guessed correctly, but I would say that between if comparing the, the this one and the previous shot, that Argentina did the bad, better job at trying to take the ball out because if you saw the previous penalty, uh, Argentina goalkeeper he touched the ball with his hand, but the the force of the ball was too much for him to be able to catch it and knock it out, and then this shot the French player had more distance between him and the ball. Which meant he didn't he didn't have too good of a chance there. Suspenso. Argentina. Argentina vive el corazón late. El último dibujo te pedimos aquí en el desierto. Va Coman. Está apresurado Coman. Vamos, vamos, Dibu, vamos. Así va. Dibu, 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 Dibu. <laughs> and just like that, Argentina getting the advantage right then and there. He absolutely blocked that goal. Not a problem at all. Dibu, el dibujo que te pedíamos en Qatar y para el mundo. 
ayudó Coman. Badival entró para patear. And you can see Messi cheering on the goalkeeper. He did do a great job there. Carrera larga del zurdo. Así va Vivala. Goal. And just like that, the advantage continues for Argentina. Now this guy shot it towards the center, but because the goalkeeper, the French goalkeeper, went off, decided to throw himself to the left. That ended up being an easy score for Argentina. It was a very nicely performed center shot. Gritalo fuerte! Que cerca estamos! Viva la Argentina! Arriba en ventaja los penales. Con más suspenso, necesitado obviamente de que Lloris volara a un costado por donde fue. Y así va Chomeni. En vos confiamos, Dibu. El último esfuerzo, Dibu. Vamos, Dibu, vamos. Vamos, Dibu, vamos, Chomeni. Not even a chance. Not even a chance. He threw it way too far to the left. And Argentina goalkeeper once again doing a good job with tr keeping track of the ball. But he didn't have to do any work for this one because the French player did the work for him. Cerca que nunca. Es tan inmenso, Dibu. Vamos, Leandro Paredes. Momento clave de la noche. Para estirar la distancia. Así va Paredes. ¡Gol! Gol. Another nice penalty shootout from Argentina. Not a chance for France for sure on this one. Not a chance either. <clears throat> and French goalkeeper did guess it on this one too, but as you can see, the player did a good job of, of locating the ball to his far left so he wouldn't be able to reach it. That's how you play penalties. Argentina! Tu Argentina! Si contiene el Divo Argentina, será campeón del mundo! Columani para rematar. Si contiene el Divo Argentina será campeón del mundo. Si va Columani. Gol. Gol. And finally. Oh no. Did not mean to do that. I don't even know where I left off, bro. Hang on. So sorry for that. I accidentally scrolled with my finger on the screen and obviously the way this thing is programmed, it's going to affect the <clears throat> the position of the video. But we're back where we left off. You can see the French player finally managed to score another one for the team, but it's quite late in the game at this point. So whatever chances they have of passing and winning the match... It's very low. And actually, from this perspective at least, it looks like if the Argentina goalkeeper had used his leg, he could have probably hit the ball with his legs there and kick it out. But I'm not sure, because we're looking from up to down. Got to take a look at another perspective to see if he had a chance to use his legs there. Yeah, it was on the high side, but it almost, you know, it's almost in the position where he could have just hit it with the with his legs, hit the ball with the legs, and kicked it out. Soñado por cualquier pibe que arrancó a jugar en los baldíos, en el barrio, en la casa, en la vereda, en el pueblo, en la plaza. Y ese es Montiel. Somos todos Montiel, Gonzalo. Vamos. Montiel al arco. Gol. Gol. 
Argentina has not they didn't even feel a single one of these penalties there to be honest with you Argentina knew exactly what they came for and they fought until they got what they, they what they really deserved to be honest they deserved to win And then, of course, with, with every tournament, every competition, there does have to be a loser, unfortunately. In this case, France did have to lament. Which I understand. I do totally understand. They did a great job with progressing through the World Cup. And along with, along with Croatia, I would say France is had very good play during the entire 2022 World Cup, but the best one was Argentina, and I think that all the teamwork and effort Argentina put in obviously led to the the, the result they were looking for, which was the, the World Cup title for 2022. You can see Messi smiling there. <laughs> Obviously now, now he can feel relieved after the the whole thing is over. Winner of the World Cup 2022. A very good sign of relief on his face for sure. <laughs> Somos el pueblo. Somos el fútbol. La tranquilidad de Messi. And there is the World Cup to be awarded to Argentina. Obviously, at this point, it has already been engraved with Argentina's name on it. And there you go. Argentina triumph in the 2022 World Cup. Estuvo en el futuro y sabía que iba a suceder esto. Sí, ¿Eh? es el único argentino que hasta ahora no lloró. No, pero la, la final que me dijo ya estuvo en el futuro. Por eso se no. And you can see Messi giving the World Cup a kiss there. <laughs> no, 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 me vuelvo loco. Me vuelvo. And another one. No, <laughs> me vuelvo loco. Esto quería Lionel. Gracias Messi. Me llenó la... And then these are other awards that were awarded to individual players during the during the match. <laughs> and then this looks like the infinity symbol. If you take a good look at that. It's like the infinity symbol in mathematics. And in the background it says FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Es tuya, es es and then you can see the entire Argentina soccer team players right there. Todos los argentinos, que si and then that this guy has a has a medal. If you can look at that. So they also in addition to trophies, they also give medals too. Which is pretty cool. Siempre confiamos en vos. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, grita conmigo. Argentina, 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 vamos, Messi, Messi, Messi. Es un momento inédito. And you can see Messi got the the honor of being able to hold the World Cup during the celebration moment right then and there. And then obviously the narrator saying, let's go Messi in Spanish. But yeah, very, very well-deserved win for Argentina. It was very awesome to see that these players could celebrate 
can celebrate this very big achievement. Not something that was easy to get, but the efforts were definitely worth the time and energy. Argentina did deserve this win for sure. And very happy for Messi too that he got to celebrate this very amazing achievement. And obviously he got to hold the World Cup itself. And just like that, that's how Argentina made history in the 2022 World Cup. So there you go. Thanks for watching this reaction video. And I hope you enjoyed it very much. It was pretty fun. And uh, thank you, Matt, for the requests. It, it is pretty fun doing these soccer reactions. Uh, it's like the third one on this channel. So yeah, definitely give something other. Uh, they get some other content for the channel here. Which I think is pretty cool for people who are interested in these reaction videos. But yep. There you go. And hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted. But we will catch you for another reaction video in the next video. By the way, sorry for the horn there. There was somebody honking outside here. And uh, I'm reacting to this while I'm sitting in my car. So you might hear a lot more of the ambient noise. So I apologize for the honking there. Somebody was honking. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.